Hi there. My name is Janine Valenti, and I am an employee of Kessler Institute for Rehabilitation, and I am in the office on campus, but because of COVID, I'm not there very often. But I am a Kessler graduate. I received my spinal cord injury, probably like you did, in one cruel second. Uh, in one cruel second, I went from being able-bodied superwoman to quadriplegic. And it was a long, I, I stayed at Kessler for five months and I worked out four hours a day to get home to my three children who were three, six and seven at the time. And um, I uh, now work at Kessler. My life is great. And that's my message that life is going to be great for you again too. But it just is a process. And one of the hardest things to get under control in this injury is your bowel program. Now, while I really hate talking about crap, when your spinal cord injured, crap takes on a whole new meaning. And um, in my opinion, when you get your bowel program under control and you control it and it doesn't control you, you are on your way to a great quality of life again. Now, it's important for us to realize how the bowel worked before your injury. Um, the, the, your digestive tract starts at the end of your throat, um, at the, end, in the beginning of your throat actually, there's a tube called the esophagus and it goes all the way down your entire body and it ends at the anus. But the bowel is the final portion of your digestive tract where the waste products are stored until they're emptied from the body. And you, you always knew when you had to go because your pre-injured self had all of these nerve endings and muscles that were integrated all within your digestive tract. So while you were moving and going about your day, your muscles were pulling the stool down, 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 all the way to your rectum. And then you got the signal from your rectum to your brain to say it was it's time to go and you would just go. But because we are paralyzed now, um, this whole beautiful system is interrupted. Spinal cord injury can lead to bowel pro problems. And these problems are described under the umbrella of having a neurogenic bowel. And what that means is that you might not be able to control when or where you have a bowel movement. So this is called having a, a bowel accident, um, or you may lose the ability to have a bowel movement when you want to, which would be called constipation. And different levels of injury cause different problems. And you could have a roommate that has the absolutely exact injury site that you have, but their bowels are different than yours. There's no rhyme or reason. Your bowel program is going to be unique to you. Um, now, you and your team, you're going to have lots of different teams for lots of different reasons, but you, your team for bowel management is going to be your physiatrist, your nurse, and your aide. Between those three, they're going to develop a bowel program for you that um, consists of oral medications, suppositories, and digital stimulation, which we're all going to get into in a minute. But like I said before, bowel programs vary from person to person. And you're, you're, you're really going to have to decide through trial and error what works for you and what doesn't. But the good news is that you are in, in an excellent place to experiment because you have expert teams ready and waiting to help you at a moment's notice. 
Now, the goal of a successful bowel program is to prevent accidents, to have a bowel movement the same time every day that you pick, and to empty your rectum in 60 minutes or less because we have better things to do in life than sit on the toilet, right? So the team, your team, again, your nurse, your uh, physiatrist and your aide are going to decide from you how often you should have a bowel movement. If you didn't go every day when you weren't injured, you're probably not gonna go every day now. And that was my case. So I, my bowel program was designed for me every other day. And then they asked me, before you were injured, when did you have a bowel movement? Was it in the morning or was it in the evening? You're going to want to pick one of those two. Um, and did you use laxatives before? Because if you needed laxatives before, you're most definitely going to need them now. And if you had to eat special foods. A bowel program should be done sitting on a shower commode chair, ideally, at the same time of day, each and every day, because now you have to train your body when to go. It is no longer probably isn't going to be able to talk to you and tell you when it has to go. So you have to train it when to go. And we recommend that if it's in the morning, about half an hour before you want to start your bowel program, you have something to eat or drink because that puts your digest, puts your body into digestive mode. And if you choose to have your bowel program at night, same thing, about a half hour, 45 minutes before you want to go, eat or drink a snack to supercharge your body into digestive mode. Now, we want you sitting up on a shower commode chair because gravity is your friend and gravity is going to help you evacuate. But not everybody can do that because some of us have skin issues. And if you have a sore on your butt somewhere or on your inner thigh or one of your thighs, you're not gonna to wanna to stress it for an hour at a time sitting up. So if you have skin complications or if you have problems regulating your blood pressure, um, you might have to have your bowel program in bed. And that would be done on your left side in a fetal position with a chuck placed underneath you. But just know that this is not the preferred method. There are multiple options for bowel programs, uh, but the standard bowel program consists of oral medications. These oral medications, again, are sub they are going to work to bring the stool down into your rectum, because remember, in many cases, you're not going to have the same muscle power to, and nerve ending power that you did before your injury to make it happen automatically. And the medication that you would use for this is Seneca, Colace, or Miralax. And oral medications are administered about six hours prior to your program. So if you're going to have your um, bowel program, say, at 8 o'clock at night, you want to have your oral medications taken between 12 and 2 with your lunch. If you are in a morning uh, bowel program, then you want to take your medications before you go to sleep at night so that when you get up in the morning, your body is ready to work for you. Now, how does bowel training begin? Well, First you wanna do is if you have the use of your hands, then you wanna put on a glove on your dominant hand, your left or right hand, and you want to use your forefinger or your middle finger because those are, those are your two longest. And you wanna insert, you wanna insert your finger into, the, into your anus, into your rectum. 
and you want to use a circular motion because you want to stimulate the walls of your um, anus. And that is going to your, your colon wall because that is going to stimulate your body to have a contraction. And that contraction is what's going to act as pushing power. And it's going to cause the stool to evacuate. But when you first do that, the very first time you do it, one or two things are going to happen. You're either going to feel stool in there or you're not. If you feel stool in there the very first time that you insert your finger, you want to, in a cir circular motion, try to get rid of that stool. Because the stool, when you, when you um, in the next step is to insert the suppository. And if there's stool in the way, it's going to cause the suppository not to be so effective. It's more effective when it has nothing else to compete with and could just get right to work on the colon wall. So you want to empty that first pass, you want it to get it empty, uh, clear of stool. Then when you place your, your suppository, you should, um, within 15 minutes, things should start happening. Now, some of you um, might already be using suppositories that work for you. But if you're not, there are three types of suppositories that are on hand at Kessler that you can ask for. One is Biscodil or Biscodil. And that is just a regular over-the-counter suppository that you can find in your drugstore. I found that this was not strong enough for me, so nothing happened. So then I moved on to the Magic Bullet. The Magic Bullet is a company um, sells it out, out of Boynton Beach, Florida. It's called Concepts in Confidence. And I call them for a 90-day supply. It's about $63. And if I call in the morning on a Monday, the supply, the 90 day supply is in my mailbox by Wednesday. It's amazing. And um, these magic bullets are very strong and they get me going in no time. Um, and there's also another type of suppository which I've never used, but I hear it works well, or the enemies. And a di digital stimulation is repeated every 15 minutes and the until no stool comes. And when that happens, you either get dressed for the day or take a shower. I like to combine my, my bowel program with my shower. And then I get done and I'm clean, clean, clean. Know that there are uh, there's a way to bypass the, the, the um, digital stimulation by hand, and that's using these tools, but we don't recommend them because over time, they could do a lot of damage to your rectal area. Tips for successful bowel program. Eat a lot of natural fiber from fruits and nuts because this will help the stool move down easier. Drink plenty of fluids. Water is the best. And avoid drinks with caffeine because caffeine will pull water from your body. Caffeine can dehydrate you. And if you're dehydrated, you're probably not gonna have a successful bowel program. In fact, you're probably gonna end up being constipated, even if you sit there for two hours, and it's just gonna cause hemorrhoids. Um, and activity and exercise promote good bowel health. If you are scheduled to have your bowel program at night, and you have an unwanted bowel accident at noon, um, you still should not skip your bowel program at night. You should still take one because you don't want to you don't want to confuse your body and know that your output is going to be less. But you should definitely want to um, go.
go through the motions again with the same scheduled um, act uh, time. If you suffer from autonomic dysreflexia when you insert your your um, suppository, then we recommend that you use a lidocaine gel, which is a numbing lubricant. And you do that five, you insert the lubricant five minutes before you start your bowel program. And that will trick your body into not feeling pain. And you might not be dysreflexic and which means that your blood pressure will be stable. And a stable blood pressure is a lot safer than an unstable blood pressure. And these are just guidelines. You, you gotta find out what works for you, okay? Now, if five years down the line, you find that your bowel program just doesn't work, know that there are other options. Now, some of these options, such as a colostomy, is surgical, but it's a same day surgery. So they um, put a part of your intestine on the outside of your body and you wear a bag and you change it when, when is needed. Anal irrigation is usually used for children to help them evacuate. Um, and it's a system that empties the lower part of your bowel by slowly introducing warm tap water. It's kind of like giving yourself an enema. And the ACE procedure is a surgical procedure, but it creates um, a tract from the abdominal wall to the colon through which enemas are given. But you're way too youngly. Your your injury is too young to decide if you're gonna if you have problems with your bowel program. Now you will if you haven't already you will be receiving a um you will be receiving a backpack with resources inside. One of these resources is a booklet put out by the Paralyzed Veterans Association called Yes, You Can. And there are pages of this booklet that is reserved just for bowel program. So all the information that I've given you today, is right there in that book. Also, you're gonna get these pages that are um, laminated for you that just talk about your bowel program. So you can have everything that you need to know right at your fingertips. The United Spinal Association puts out a consumer guide that you'll get in your backpack and it's everything you need for your bowel and bladder programs um, right at your fingertips so that you know what to order. And then we also give out in your backpack sponsored by the Kessler Foundation, all managing medical complications after spinal cord injury. But for those of you who do not have access to a DVD player, there is a YouTube channel which will give you the same information. And this is a directory of the entire spinal cord injury team. And they are on standby to help you in any way they can. Um, and that is also available in your backpack as well. Uh, at this point, I would like to thank you for joining our session. And um, we will look forward to hearing from you throughout your stay. Have a good day.